Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. You would not believe it. I'm going to have maybe having a uh, the English. I'm going to be in a, participating in a tournament in about five days. I'm just going to quickly talk about one of the decks that I'll be bringing and I'll be revisiting the archetype as well again. That's going to be Twisted Fate Ezreal. I'm a big, big fan of this deck and I think I figured when I was looking at tournament lineups as I tried out a few ones. I think Twisted Fate Ezreal could be quite a strong addition to a tournament lineup, especially when you have the potential to ban Shadow Isles, which is my main my main strategy at the moment is to ban in Dua, as well as Shadow Isles in general. But however, if they do bring deep, there may be a consideration for me to change. It depends on their full lineup though, but I have to see what happens when I get to the tournament anyway. So the idea of Twisted Fate Ezreal is mixing Bilgewater and Piltover to do some pretty cool things with that, obviously, as we've said over and over, Twisted Fate and Ezreal. Ezreal is still your finisher. I've talked about this deck before and it's very similar to Noxus Ezreal. It just has some different tools that can be useful in different matchups like the ability to kind of activate Ezreal quite quickly with Make It Rain and we do feature the keg packages. This list may be a bit outdated. This is a pretty standard one I decided to go with. This was finding a bit of success prior to the patch in the early days in Rising Tides but I think it's now getting quite outclassed especially by some Shadow Isles decks. So being able to ban Shadow Isles gives me a good opportunity here to maybe bring this deck. It's a lot of fun and it can be quite hard to pilot yet um, quite rewarding. If, you take, if you're taking your time and you're really thinking through the turns, you might be able to do some really annoying things where your opponent just feels like they can't do anything. And that deck is rewarding in that sense. So going through a list, uh, Zap, Sprayfin, uh, this is pretty much heavy cycle deck, right? So you've got Static Shock, Salvage, Zap, Sprayfin. This kind of helps to draw the uh, spells, which you do have quite a lot of. Um, Chump Bomb's always going to fit into most Ezreal lists. Uh, Pity Officer, Deadway Deckhand, these are kind of your flexible tools for buffing all of your spells since we have so many. Love the three parlays here as well. Couple of rummages, uh, Triple Thermo Beam seems pretty standard. Uh, gotcha makes a pretty good fit into this deck. Uh, it replaces your Get Excited because discarding cards can be quite important. Most of the time, it doesn't hurt too much uh, across four mana over the Get Excited variant, but every now and then you may draw into it for a discounted price, salvage two of. Uh, discarding cards doesn't tend to be as painful because we're never going to discard Ezreal, so you know, no problem there. Uh, we might discard some spells we would have hoped to have, but. No, no drama, because usually finding Ezreal is quite important and it's a fair bit of cycle to go alongside this. So I really like this list. This is pretty um, fleshed out, but it's also just kind of like not the highest tier deck. So I wouldn't recommend this for your general ladder experience, but I did want to practice the deck. So we're going to have a couple games here. Hope you can enjoy the games. We are sitting in Dumpster Master at the moment. So some of the matchups we had weren't as uh, competitive as I would have hoped. Not, not that the games weren't close, but I mean, I just wasn't versing decks I expect to see in a tournament environment. Anyway, that's enough of my speaking. Hope you guys can have a great day and you'll be seeing me soon. Uh, I will add one more thing. I'm aware I haven't been uploading as regularly. Um, I kind of hit a little bit of a wall, but I'll leave it at that. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace. We're chilling dumpster rank now. We're versing <laughs> uh, Vladimir Brom. This is actually going to be quite difficult because we're not exactly killing the units with our spells. He gets value from little chip damage. I think I'm just going to get rid of the whole hand. Look for like Thermo Beam. Even finding Ezreal is probably useful. A ah, pretty easy parlay. I don't think you'd ever not parlay there. We'll just pass the mana. We can rummage at any point. This is pretty cool. Um, so that's buffed up. We're going to summon a powder keg here and we're going to go for the gotcha and hopefully, hopefully it works. Throw up the blocker just in case he has an elixir of iron. We should still get the clear. I guess he values that quite a bit. Like in the end, he still just kind of gets one card. So I guess it's okay worth for us. Uh, I'll play Zap Sprayfin. Uh, 
I will attack. I'm actually going to pass here. You can do something strange like a transfusion, but I don't want that to happen, do I? So let's commit another mystic shot. I'm going to actually play the Ezreal here. that to happen. I don't know if I want to spend a gotcha into it though. It was kind of necessary though. We didn't get the mystic shot value but we get to keep Ezreal. We could even um rummage it maybe. Makes value from the yeah, yeah, we should rummage here. Probably get rid of the deck hand. Nice. Nice. Um. I can tank this. Salvage. Finally, someone was lost. A pleasure to see you too, my dear. I'm going to attempt to use the gotcha. I don't mind if he keeps this alive. Because he's not buffing up key cards. Um, yeah, we're just going to swing here. Hopefully no Monoxium Fervors. Okay, I guess I'll red card. We like running out of gas though, but we do have the chump bomb to complete our mission. I wonder if I ever prematurely thermo beam. It's probably not correct. Ah, oh, that's some good refill. I can probably commit a thermo beam into that. I should probably go for it. I think that was from the top. I'm so good, I nice. We probably don't want to tank all this damage. By all means, get in my way. Hopefully he doesn't find a playable card this turn. He found a playable card this turn. I guess I've just got to survive. I probably don't even need to commit the 
save the twist of fate here. But I do need to save the Ezreal. I can probably tank this. With the Ezreal. If I'm doing that, would I not just do this instead? One extra damage, will it make a difference? I don't think so. I actually would have loved to have played the pick a card here, but this is the position that we find ourselves in. So I'm pretty sure we're going to slow play here. Some cards. Eyes open. We send this face. And this is six damage from hand. Do I ever prematurely puff? I don't think so. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Have a slow speed card in case he slow plays here. So we'll use this now before he gets a chance to react. And then this is lethal. About to get popped. Yeah, GG. But you can see the mushrooms in hand, so. Um I was really hoping to find burst something a bit more meta there. I think this deck would um be uh, a lot more competitive in a tournament environment. Because mainly I my plan is to ban uh, Shadow Wiles. And mostly to ban Endure. That's my biggest threat. Just Shadow Wiles in general is quite strong. But if forever the line if for, forever if for for it for whatever reason. <laughs> if for whatever reason in the uh it is not Endure, say it maybe it's uh deep, um there might be a consideration for me not to ban it. I've been trying to think of my options here. Yeah, we're both some strange decks at the moment. This deck's a lot of fun though. It is a uh, a lot of fun. This is a great curve. We don't really have one drops. We have parlay. So I think being able to get somewhat of a curve against the mid-range deck is probably going to be quite useful. If we can dodge the one drop. We're in a really good spot then. Nice. You might have a two drop. Parlay is going to cuck it. Yes. We'll go for it now. He could be sitting on an elixir of iron, but he's playing a GP deck. How greedy could you um, be? Well, I mean, I mean, like, as in, I think he'd be playing a pretty greedy list, so he wouldn't be running Parlay, uh, elixir of iron, sorry. That was very worth. I'm happy to end the round here without developing. Or do I want to... See, that's the thing though. I think he's waiting for me to play something. I'm going to play into his trap a little bit and hopefully find a decent uh, one cost ally. Hopefully something with more HP than that. He's definitely playing um, Make It Rain. But he's willing to wait for it. So on turn 4, they usually don't have the craziest turn 4 plays. I wonder if I have a Zap Spray Fin. Probably not. Zap Spray Fin would be to play around Make It Rain a little bit. But if he develops a Keg, then the Make It Rain gets a little bit stronger. He doesn't seem to be running, sitting on it though. So that's kind of hilarious. Is it time to Twisted Fate for card draw? I think so. He plunders me, gets me closer to Ezreal, so that's pretty good too. I could have zapped Sprayfin too, but yeah. Let's let's commit a let's commit a just fade into the field. Before he hits turn six. And you can um 
use Sejuani to grant a vulnerable. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see him just do a lot of crazy stuff here. Um, I can always pass here. Plunder my asshole! My ass! Maybe he didn't steal any direct damage cards from my deck. He's stolen two cards, right? Under me, dude. Oh, here we go. It's there's a huge chance he, chance he finds an answer to our card. It's two cards reduced by one. Two cards reduced by two. Zero mana mystic shot, that would feel awful if he did. That would feel really bad. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, I don't know what to say. That's just really unfortunate. I'm gonna open attack here, try and pressure him. To blocking with these units. We do have him down to quite a low HP stance. You could also have make it rain. Better not be one from my deck. That would be super disappointing. I've got like Twist of Fate plus Static Shock here. Looks like he did kind of blunder it. A little bit greedy on the block there. I would have always put up a merchant as a safe blocker. I'm definitely playing TF. I'm probably definitely going for the red card. This is also going to deal damage to his nexus as well. And then we're going to static shock the merchant to draw some cards. At this point, the merchant's already got tremendous value. I might be able to cheese him here. He's got very, very, very low HP. We have quadruple zap spray fin. Maybe we can get some elusive damage into his nexus. Oh, that's a, that's a card. If it gives me an action, I'm pretty sure I'll parlay the monkey. I can always play the, um... Actually, there could be a reason to. Yeah, I should always parley the monkey here. If he hasn't stolen all my mystic shots, I could always just deal damage to his nexus. And this make it rain could always make- I just need one mystic shot. Triple- triple zap spray fin. No Sejuani on curve. They're telling me I have a chance? I'll take my chances. This petty officer probably never connects to face, so I'll use them as a blocker. Um, I guess I'll use the Thermo Beam. Hit the Yordle Grifter. Actually, should I hit the damn monkey? I think hitting, hitting the monkey feels kind of silly. It might be correct. It's probably not correct. We should hit the... Yeah. You know what? It might be correct. Increases my chances of making rain hitting face for the chance that zap spray fins are enough damage. We'll see if that, we'll see if that becomes relevant where if I had have hit this to make it rain has higher odds. We should always zap before the draw, if we decide to use Selvage. That's to make it rain. So we'll swing first. I could also play my other 
zap spray thing here. I think I win. I think I almost win if I do this. What's your answer here, buddy? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. So he's not currently sitting on a make it rain that I should be aware of. Where'd this one come from? His deck. Um... Can I st stick it in once? GG. <laughs> uh, what a weird game. So... It might have made a difference if I had decided to use the, um... The... Dynamic beam on the monkey idol, increasing my make it rain odds, giving me extra outs. He didn't steal all my mystic shots. That was nice. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so the tournament's going to be in a few days. I'm pretty excited. I think this will be the lineup I decide to bring. I've been tweaking, playing around with different lineups over and over and over, and I just can't seem to figure it out. So I'm just going to go for a slightly fun deck, but slightly off meta. Yet in a tournament environment, that might be strong. You guys obviously saw the Lee Sin deck as well. I'm going to be keen to bring that. And we've got some imported deck here, which is just utter meta sleep.